One of the biggest responses I get to the issues I cover on this show is what can I do? And although we try and give tools of action and insight on solutions to the multitude of problems facing humanity, it can be overwhelming to say the least. Enter the Solutions Institute, headed by activist and founder of People Against the NDAA, Dan Johnson. He joins me now to discuss how people from all walks of life can bridge together to create tangible change. Thank you so much for coming on, Dan. Good to yeah, see you again. Right. So what exactly is the Solutions Institute? So the Solutions Institute is the first ever activist consulting firm. What we do is there's a lot of activists out there, a lot of people out there who know why they want to get involved, who know why they want to get engaged, but they don't really know how, they don't know the process. And so what we're doing is we're dropping all of the agendas of all the different activists and we're saying, we're going to teach you how to get engaged. We're going to teach you how to create real change. And let's talk about exactly what you do offer to these activists who know the issues that they care about but don't necessarily know how. So we offer, involved. yeah, we offer all kinds of things like graphic design help, we offer web design help, we offer help with local organizing, we offer over 35 different areas that we have 27 advisors on that can help activists from every walk of life say, you know what, I want to go from working harder to working smarter. Mm -hmm. How far reaching is this organization, Dan? This organization is actually 27 days old and we are now international. Wow, that's amazing. And what projects have you consulted on so far? So we've worked on all different kinds of projects, like our probably our favorite is a pilot project out of Toledo, Ohio, which is a town I grew up in. Two young women wanted to do a police accountability rally, and they were hoping for about 15 people to show up and then hand out a few flyers and go home. But we got a hold of it. We were able to help them take it from 50 to 30, or 15 to 30 people. We were able to get local news coverage, and we were able to help turn that rally into a petition, which eventually pushed the Wood County Sheriff's Department to purchase body cameras, they purchased 15. Wow, that is incredible. Uh, you know, what about the people doing the consulting here? Uh, does the organization have any sort of political affiliation? So the organization itself has no political affiliation. We simply have one rule, and that's good ideas don't require force. So as long as you're not advocating force, you're not advocating an increase of force, we're going to help you. We're going to sit down. We're going to look at where your weaknesses, look at your strengths, and one of our advisors in their various different areas is going to help you. And so talk about how the, the structure is set up. You said it's international. You have advisors all over the planet right now? We, yeah, our advisors are mostly based out of the United States, but a lot of the process, a lot of the how-to apply all over the world. We have a client in Malaysia, we have a client in the UK, we have a cl several clients in the United States. That's amazing. And how, if you don't mind me asking, I mean, how, how do you operate this financially because I mean the website's really good looking and you know you have all these consultants who are working for you is it just donations based so there are lots of different ways there's a donation link if people want to donate they can go online and, and hit that donation link there's we're probably launching a premium service here but we're the first ever we're blazing yeah. the trail here so we're kind of figuring out as we go along and then uh, working the price model into it but the goal is regardless of your financial capacity regardless of what you want to do to be able to teach you the how-to and the process of activism so we can get more people engaged. You know, Abby, I hear people talk about they want to get more people engaged, they want to get more people engaged in democracy all the time, but no one's ever actually offering the tools to do so, and we're changing that game. Right. I mean, you have websites like Meetup, but, you know, th that's getting more and more expensive, and it's not really specializing or catering those needs towards certain activists and groups, and I think that what you're doing is absolutely brilliant, Dan. I mean, it's incredible that you were also involved in a, another successful project called Panda or People Against the NDAA. What successes did you have there and also what did you learn in order to like apply the model that, that were successful in that project? So People Against the NDAA kind of changed the game on local activism. Usually local activism was, oh, well, there's a new zoning law or there's a new uh, street law or street bill. Well, what, local act, what we took is we took nas a national issue, the National Defense Authorization Act, military indefinite detention, and we made it a local issue because that's who would be detained. That's who would be taken off the street without charge or trial. And we were able to pass seven pieces of legislation in cities all the way to the capital of New York saying, yeah, we're not going to do this. And we were able to help change the conversation on terrorism so that people don't see, well, you're immediately called a terrorist, now you're an evil guy. There's innocent until proven guilty factor there. So we were able to help change that conversation. Now, if we were able to do that starting with me and a Twitter account in the dorm room, <laughs> then what can we help other activists do with their particular issue. And was there anything that you learned that inspired you to do the Solutions Institute from the Panda work? I, it was really one, uh, there's a lot of different factors, but yeah. one in particular stands out and it was uh, I would talk to almost everybody who wanted to get engaged with us and ask them, well, why are you doing this? 
And I noticed that they never said we want to repeal the NDAA or we want to take on the NDAA. They said they want to have a better future for their children. They want to ha see a more free country. And I realized that those skills that we learn could apply to every single area. Asked several activists to join me, and 26 of them said yes, and we have the Solutions Institute. So how do we also, I think a big problem, other than people getting the tools to cater their, um, you know, their activism through this organization, another problem is uniting those fronts, right? How do we get people People from all walks of life, like you know, people who are libertarians or, or socialists, and and get those people to be bridged together with this under the umbrella of the Solutions Institute. Well, the way you start to do it is that we have a networking tool. We're actually launching the activist map, so people will be able to add their activist organization, mm -hmm. and other people will be able to contact them. So that will help um, different activists connect with each other, whether it's by state or by country. And really, the key is to open up debate, to open up debate to more issues and more topics, and open up kind of uh, get more people engaged in political activism. That's really what's necessary mm. in order to actually have a unification and that's what we're trying to do with the solution. Right. Find those core issues that we can all agree on. Start there. <laughs> Let's mm -hmm. start. You know, we all agree on, on the end goal here, um, changing the government for the better, right? Um, so that's that's amazing. I mean, you have a training session coming up. Talk about this and how else can, people can get involved. Absolutely. So ActCon, the activist online training conference is coming up. We have people like John B. Wells, like Steve Serge, like Brandon Keebler, who started a organization to fight the NSA at 14 and is starting another one to fight uh, local surveillance at 16. We have people like that speaking on issues like how to be a good radio guest, how to be a good radio host, etc. That'll be on February 7th. There's tickets. Tickets are $15. Tickets will be on our website. And that's focusing on the process, the how-to. Not why, but how-to. How do you get engaged and how do you make a difference? Absolutely. And thank you for doing exactly that, Dan. You are a huge inspiration to me. Thank you so much for coming on. Really appreciate your thank work. You.